everybody. Welcome back to my channel. To all my returning subscribers and viewers, thank you so much for coming back and um, watching this video. And if you're new here, my name is Valerie, and this is my little co-hostess, Violet. She loves to be on all the unboxings and all my videos. She's always got to be here in the action and so forth. And uh, today is November. Actually, it's November 2nd now. Um, I've been up, uh, my sleeping schedule is kind of weird this week, so um, I've been up for since last evening, and I didn't have to work, so I did some filming last evening, and now it's it's changed to a different day, so it is November 2nd, and um, before, I begin, before I begin, I would like to just remind everybody that November is um, National Diabetes Awareness Month. And since I'm diabetic, um, I am starting a diabe diabetes video series on the subject. And so if you guys are interested in watching that, I'll put the link below. And I would love it if you watched it and gave me some, gave me some support on that. I would greatly appreciate that. So without further ado, we're going to do an unboxing today. And I got my big old trunk in, trunk club. So... Let me get this bad boy opened up here, and we'll begin. And I'm going to go kind of quick today. I'm not going to be chit-chatting, chit-chatting. And first, I'm going to do a little, I'm going to do this a little bit differently. Oh, my God, that's upside down here. Um, I'm going to do it a little bit differently today. I'm not going to give you all the details on what items are here right away. Um, I'm going to wait and do that probably um, just during the try-on. Um to let you know what I have on. So I'm just going to show you what I got real quick and then we'll start the try on portion and I'll give you more information during the try on. And we'll see if it, um, the time, I can cut the time down a little bit. That's what I'm trying to work on. So um, the first thing we've got is by Wit and Wisdom and it is a pair of jeans. And I have opened this trunk already because everything is individually wrapped in plastic and it just takes too long and it's too noisy. So I just already did that. So here's the Wit and Wisdom jeans. They're really cute. They're nice and stretchy. They're about a medium wash. Um, they're a little bit more blue. Okay, so I'm still in need of jeans, so I'm anxious for that. Miss Violet, you've got to get back here, honey. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm anxious to try that, those. I'm anxious to try everything. Um, they sent me 11 items this time so there's a lot to go through here okay and this one is um by free people and this is a nice little now nice gray top this is very soft i will tell you that's very very soft um and it's very interesting it has like the outside seam i don't know if you can see or not but it's got a kind of uh, i don't know what it's called but I'm trying to show you here, but I don't see it. There it is. There it is. There it is. It's more. Let me show you more in the back. See those seams that are coming down? And they're kind of like inside out seams. And then they've got them like pressed open. And then it looks like they've got some texturizing on them. So that's kind of really interesting. And at first I thought, well, I got this on inside out. And then I kept checking. I'm like, no, it's right. So, and then it's got this waffle. You see the waffle material in some parts of it, and then other parts is just like a ribbed. Um, so it's like two different materials. Um, that's kind of interesting, and I love the color on it, and it's very, very soft. Very, very soft. And it is a, I believe it's a high-low, and it's got a little thing at the bottom there. So, yeah, that is super soft. I love soft stuff. Okay, here we go. This is by, I wasn't gonna tell you all this, was I? This is by Bobo. And it is a wrap top in red. Well, it faux wrap, I should say, or drape top. I don't know what these they call these, in red. And the fabric's not really great. It's, it's okay. It feels just like a scratchy polyester kind of. It's not like super soft. That surprised me with Bobo because I've had a lot of their items before. And uh, and they're normally very, very soft. So, I'm kind of disappointed in their fabric. But anyway, let's move on here. I can get this thing up right here. 
This is a cardigan and it is by BP. And it is a striped cardigan. It's got the gray stripe, a little black stripe, and like a mauve color, and it's cream colored. Body mainly cream colored. This is nice and soft. And it is an open cardigan, and it does have pockets. And it's extremely long. It's pretty long. So you'll see that in the try-on. That's pretty. I do like that. Um, and this violet. I'll move her so you can see. She's like right there by the box. <laughs> Just watch me. Okay. And these are by Madewell. These are black jeans, which I really don't need any more black jeans. Um, but I've never tried the Madewell, so I'm um, kind of anxious to try those out. I'll move over here so I don't disturb her. And they are nice and stretchy. They're nice, skinny. And the back, I know it's kind of hard to see with this lighting. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning here, so it's dark. But I've got tons of lights on, so I'm hoping you can see that. Um, the next item we have is by Caslon. And it's just basically a simple long sleeve tee. Um, it has it looks like it has some of the um, heathering or merle look to it. This is nice and soft as well. And it has a center back seam that you can see. Violet, you're going to push this off. You you move back. You move back. <laughs> We're wrestling over here. Sorry. <laughs> I got the box in her spot and she don't like it. So um, it's got a back seat, center seam. And it's pretty long. Pretty long. So I think I might like that. Very soft. But it's, it's kind of, it's thin. Um, so we'll see. And then we have this white shirt and this is by, uh, Caslon. And this is really nice and soft, but it is very sheer. Very, very sheer. It's got the V-neck and then it's got the, where did those go? Where did those go? Oh, right here. It's got the tie things here. They're all over the place here. And they got the little tassel ties. You can see that are white. I'm not sure I'm going to like the sleeve because um, see how it's going to come in here and then it's going to get poofier down here. I'm not sure if I'm going to like that or not. So, Violet Rose, you get down over here. You get over here. Thank you. She's way over there on the corner and looking like I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> Okay, and then the back, and it does have a yoke. I'm not real thrilled with yokes, you know. Um, so that's, it's nice and soft though, very nice and soft, but definitely you're gonna have to wear something underneath it. Ooh, this is, this one's nice. Um, this is so super soft. This is by Halogen. And this is a fuzzy pink sweater in a V-neck. And this feels almost like Angora. This is just so, so stinking soft. Oh my gosh. Um, and then the sleeve, it's got like right here, it kind of comes in. So it looks like it's gonna have a puffy sleeve. That I'm not sure of, but I do love this fabric. It is really nice and soft, super, super soft. All right. That's something I definitely could cozy up to in the winter, this winter. And the color is pretty. I like the color. Okay, and we have a black shirt, which I didn't like if you saw my last video or my, my last one. No, last one. I don't know. One of my videos I was going off about not ha having too many black shirts. Um, this is by Treasure Bond. So I got another black shirt, which I do like this black shirt. It's really cute. It's got the, it's like a Henley. And it's got the buttons, and I like the stripe detail on it. It's not really a stripe, but because it, it's like textured in there, you know, you can feel the stripes. So it's like textured in there, and I really do like that. It's a cute top, very nice and soft. It doesn't look like it's like super see through or anything. And there's the back of it, 
and it doesn't look like it's a high low it looks like it just has a straight hem on the bottom so we'll try that um and i can always go on and see if they offer this in different colors um trunk club it is not a subscription service. You just order a trunk when you want. You can um, have it set up now, I guess, um, to have it um, come whenever you want it. As far as like setting it up as automatic, um, I don't do that. I just uh, let them know when I want one. And then you can go on and preview your trunk after they style you. And um, once you uh, preview it, you can uh, reject certain items the first time. And then your stylist can will fill up more items. If, you know, once you don't say I, I didn't want four items, she'll find four other items and replace it with that. And then after that, they just send it to you. You can't choose from that. And I think this is one that I was not able to choose. I think that was like a replacement because there was a lot of black, a lot of black on there too. But I went back through and I was able to um, request different colors. And that I really liked. So I really do like that. Okay, this is by Gibson. And this is super, super soft. And it is a pink. It looked more fuchsia online when I accepted it. And I was expecting more of a fuchsia. And this, it says it's pink, but to me it looks more like a whiny, wine, like a washed out wine color. Um, and it's got the front knot. And it's high low because of the front knot very soft it's kind of like a sweatery like a sweatery three-quarter sleeves okay so that's pretty it's nice i'm not sure about the color though that's the only thing i'm not concerned i'm kind of concerned with um and also trunk if you've never done trunk before um it, they do charge a 25 dollars styling fee if you have a nordstrom's card then the styling fee is waived if you don't have a Nordstrom's card and you pay the $25 styling fee, um, it'll come off any purchase that you may make within that trunk. If you don't uh, purchase anything, then you pretty much lose your $25. It's kind of the only bad thing about that. Um, they sent me some shoes here too. And here is, these are by Soul Society. And here is the pretty booty. It looks like, in some light, it looks gray, but then when I looked at on it, it looks almost like a navy. Um, it's very pretty. I do like the height of the heel. I don't like anything super high or super thin as far as heels, so it's got a chunkier heel. I do like that. Um, it has a side zipper, and then it has the back zipper, which the back zipper is just for decorative purposes. Um, the side zipper is an actual working zipper. Okay. And I kind of like how this kind of folds over and it's kind of tacked there. So it's actually really, really pretty. I'm not sure I am into really purchasing any shoes at this point. Um, I could use some booties to be honest, but I just purchased a couple pair, one pair of booties and a pair of boots from Target, and I haven't done that video yet, but I'm planning to get that one then. And here's, this one is by Sam uh, I, Edelman. Edelman. Okay, and these are really pretty too. They're kind of a taupey grayish color. And this heel's a little bit lower, which I still like that. I do still like that heel as well. It's this nice suede. They're both nice suede. And this just has the side zipper, which is a working zipper. So very, very pretty, really nice. Okay, I'm trying to think, uh, Trunk is a Nordstrom company. So all their clothing does come from Nordstrom, um, which it's a little bit more pricier than most of the others. I think they're pretty comparable in price with Chunsun though. Chunsun's pretty expensive. Um, and I think sometimes some of the stuff they get from the Trunk Club is um, less expensive. So, um, they have good quality clothing, and I do like their clothes. And it's fun to get styled by them. So it's like every other styling service, you fill out a profile, 
and then you assign a stylus and your stylus actually has more direct contact with you than a lot of the other subscription services. I think they're right up there with Mix and Matchbox. Mix and Matchbox has a lot of one-on-one -on -one, um, talking or emailing or texting back and forth with you um, from your own talking to your actual personal stylist. I really like that. I like the one-on-one -on -one with my personal stylist that if I have a question or I have a request or things that I need, I can just, you know, email them, email them, email them and go directly to them. And I really do like that. I like that better than thinking, um, oh, I don't even know, you know, um, who I would contact and have to contact this customer service for any of my other needs, you know, with some of the other companies. And I don't really like that. I would rather be able to have more one-on-one -on -one with my personal stylist. And I think I get better um, boxes because of it. So anyway, that's what's in my trunk. So let me go and get changed and we will start the try on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> I also forgot, I was in such a hurry. I also forgot to let you guys know that um, I do have a new stylist. So, um, We'll see how that goes. Um, this is uh, by Stylist Notes or letter to me. Um, hi, Val hi, Valerie. I'm so excited for your trunk. I packed a range of items that are great for the cold weather. I also added in some options in a different color or slightly different style of those couple pieces you mentioned to your last stylist. Take a look at the outfits I created and let me know if you have any questions. Feedback is super important since it's your first trunk with me. Have fun. Cheers, Emily. So Emily's my new stylist. Um, I requested a new stylist because I just didn't feel like my other stylist and I were just um, meshing well. Um, it wasn't that she was a bad stylist. She did send me some great pieces and that type of thing. I just felt like we just weren't meshing too well. And I think that happens sometimes. So I thought, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a different stylist and see what happens. So um, what I have on now, um, I'm going to show you the pretty Chelsea boot and size eight um, by Sam Edelman, and it's in the color Putty Suede, um, and those are $99.95. Um, I also have on, uh, let me see here, the Road Tripper Skinny Jeans um, by Madewell in the Bonnet Wash, and those are $75. And I also have on, oh, let me see, it's a Gibson here, I think it's Gibson. Or maybe it's a cast on. It's blue. Yes, it's Castlon. Knit Peasant Tee um, in large by Castlon in white, and it's $49. So, first thing on is I have the peasant top on, and I've had to put a tank on underneath, and sorry, it's a little bit longer. I didn't I couldn't find my shorter one. Um, so Bear with me on that, but it is just so, so super see-through. You can see it right there. Um, this is super, super soft, and I do really like the tassels. That's really nice. Um, I don't have a nicer um, type uh, white top. I just basically have like basic white tops. Um, so this might be a nice addition. But one thing I'm not cer certain about, I'm having problems speaking today, sorry guys. Um, is this, you know, are, do the sleeves look too puffy for my body frame or does it look like it's okay? Is it something maybe I should start introducing it in my wardrobe? Because it is something I do not have and it's not like uncomfortable or anything. Um, at first I just kind of thought, Ooh, I don't like that. But now that I kind of am looking at it more, it's kind of nice. I mean, it's, it's kind of comfortable, but I'm not quite sure I'm sold on that puffiness in the sleeve area. So you guys, please give me your thoughts and opinions. I would love to know and hear from you. I like the V-neck on it. The fabric's super soft. It is just a nice, soft fabric. Even though it is very see-through, I would always have to wear something underneath it. But it is really a soft, comfortable top. It has side slits, and it is a little bit of a high-low. And the fabric is even... It's kind of, it's not even like solid. It's kind of, you see, it's kind of got that heathered, mer merled look into it, which I really kind of like. Um, this openness of the seam is kind of cool because it's got seam and you see it's kind of open there. 
gives it a little bit more texture throughout and I kind of like that too. It's, it's not open there, but it is, well, where can I just see it at? Not there. I thought I saw it on the sleeve. Oh, well, maybe not. I thought I saw it on the sleeve. Okay, I guess I'm seeing things. I guess it's too, too early in the morning yet. But I do like this top, and I like the flowiness of it. It's very comfortable. This is one I would see, you know, thrown on and just, you know, being very casual. Um, I think you could also dress it up. I see that I could feel, I see like this could be also a, a nice layering piece underneath a jacket or, you know, a cardi even, um, and it would go with anything. So uh, let me know what you guys think of that one. The pants are, they fit pretty good. They're a higher waist. They're higher waist. They are black. Um, the wash they said was Bennett, but it looks black to me so um they have nice pockets I, the fabric's great it's kind of stretchy and nice um it's got back pockets it's got front pockets um it's very nice they are a skinny let me back up so you guys can see that let me not trip on my little perch so it's got a nice skinny and let me get on my perch and you can also see the booties um, the booties are really nice. I do like them. Pants are a little long. I would have to find, have to flip them up right now. I just kind of got them slouched down there, which that doesn't bother me too bad. Um, but I think this is a nice look. I really do like this. I do. I really like the booties. And I did get some booties from Target, but I'll tell you what, they gave me some blisters, and I'm kind of uh, thinking about maybe taking those back because um, I'm just not sure, sure they're gonna work for me and and I don't want to wear a shoe or booty that's uncomfortable so uh, let me give you a little bit better view of the booty of the boots not my booty <laughs> thought I better clarify that I don't know if you can see them or not it's kind of difficult okay so uh, give me your thoughts and opinions on this one and I'll be right back Okay, we have went from flowy to more fitted. Um, this is the long sleeve crew neck tee in large by Castellon in blue, and it's $29. And I just added my mitten mongoose necklace to it because I wanted to see how well a longer necklace would look and dress it up a little bit. Um, it is a lot more form fitting. Um, it's not a flowy. Um, and I don't think it looks too bad. It shows a little bit of a roll there, which I don't care for that. I think if it was just a little bit, a little bit looser, it doesn't have to be flowy, flowy, but maybe uh, it fits good everywhere else. I mean, it really is. It's got nice soft fabric. It's just a little clingy right there that I don't really care for that. The color's really pretty. It's got that marly, mar merled look or heathered look, whatever you want to call it. Um, let me back up. The length's nice. It's not too short. I, it was very, very see-through. I did put a navy, um, one of my navy tanks underneath it um, because it was just really see-through. So um, that I would have to do this. I'd definitely have to wear a tank underneath it. And um, it's nice. It's nice. I like do like the length of it. Um, I think it. I think it gives me a nice shape. It conforms my shape a little bit more. The only thing I don't like is I don't like that it shows my little pudge, my pudge right there. Um, you can see where the line in my jeans, maybe a different pair of jeans uh, might look better with it. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, I'll have to play around with that a little bit and see. So you guys give me your thought, you guys give me your thoughts and opinions. Um, it would be would be cute. You know, this would be a great piece, you know, piece to wear under cardigans. Um, definitely it's it's thin thin enough it's a nice thin shirt to maybe consider that um, it is pretty it is very soft um, I think it looks nice it feels really nice as far as size wise except for right in this area it doesn't feel tight it just shows a little pudge and I don't know I always stretch my stuff out but maybe with some stretching stretching exercises there <laughs> Um, it would look okay. 
So let me go try on the next outfit and I'll be right back. Oh, everything else I have, I just kept the same. So uh, I'll be right back. All right, I am back and I am wearing the faux wrap knit top by Bobo and Large and the color red and it is $49. Um, this is actually a really cute top. I do like this, finally a faux wrap that looks right on me. I have a lot of issues with that. So it has like the shearing look that kind of comes across as I like. This is fastened up in here so you're not gonna pop out. This comes over far enough inside so that, um, you know, it's not going to come undone. I do like that. Um, I like the color. The color is actually a really, really pretty red. Maybe coming off is kind of orangey, but it is. Let me back up. There you can see the red. Um, let me back up a little bit more. Yeah, there it is. Um, that's about the color red it really is. So it's a very pretty Christmassy red. Um, I think it looks really nice with black pants. It's a little front, it's a little shorter in the front than what I normally like. Um, and I don't know if that would stay over or if it keep moving up. You know, there I could get it down a little bit. And, um, but what's it look like? I don't know. It seems like it kind of just cups my belly. And that's why I like a little bit longer tops because they seem to just cut my belly and bring an ax, just bring attention to there. Um, and I can see that it's pretty see-through. I can see the black band of the jeans coming through that. Um, I don't like the fabric. The fabric I aren't really fond of. It's more of a nylon-y, polyester -y, not a nice one either. It's just, I don't know, I just don't care for the fabric. Um, there's ruching on the inside of the sleeve, uh, cuffs, which I thought that was kind of odd. I don't know why it wouldn't be on the outside, but it's on the inside. I think, you know, if you're gonna do that, Put it on the outside where it can be seen because not a lot of people are going to see that part. Um, so that doesn't really make a difference to me or not. So, yeah, this is okay. It's not my favorite uh, overall. It's a decent looking top, but uh, for, what was it, $49? I'm not loving it. Yeah, $49. I'm just not loving it. And I normally like Bobo and, um, and their tops, and the, I mean, their stuff. Um, I have a cardigan that's really, really nice and soft. This just is not soft at all. It's just nylon -y. Okay, so let me go try on the next one. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with, uh, I have on the Stripe Midi Open Cardigan by BP Enlarge, and it is in ivory, and it is $55. And let me see where the other one. The Button Front Henley Top by Treasure and Bond Enlarge, and it's black by... If, for, yeah, for $45. And I have on, let me find it here, <clears throat> the Wit and Wisdom Super Smooth Stretch Denim Skinny Jeans in navy in size 10. And they are $64. And I also have on the River Booty by Soul Society in size 8, ink suede, and they are $89.95. <clears throat> Okay, so I did request a cardigan that was similar to this, but they stated since it was on sale at Nordstrom's.com that they would not be able to get it um, because they do not deal with sale items. So if I wanted that, I'd have to order it through Nordstrom's.com. Um, the stripes were, it was basically the same cardigan, but the stripes were different color um, colors, and um, I think I still like the colors in the other one a little better than the stripe. The colors on this one um this has got i mean this is pretty it's got the gray and it's got a mauvey color a blush color it's got a black stripe and it's got the ivory um it's got pockets which is really really nice but it seems like when it comes down here that stripe is just not right for some reason it looks like they droop they're drooping i don't know so i don't know if i would really want that up here they look decent but then down here, they get all, just in that one area, they just look like they're kind of drooping down. Maybe it's just me, but that's the way I, I don't know. I'm kind of picky when it comes to that kind of stuff. Because it just looks like it's drooping. It's like, they got an extra loom or a little line of fabric in that one spot. And maybe, I don't know, maybe it was because of the pockets. I don't know, maybe... 
seems to be, and maybe the pockets are making it look like that, because it doesn't look like that down below or anywhere else. It's just that one spot where I have pockets on both sides. So maybe that's just the way it's going to be. This is very nice and soft. I like that it's ribbed. It's very pretty. Um, it's super long. It's actually very, very long, which I do like the length. They like longer cardigans to keep you a little warmer. Back up so you guys can see that. And we'll back up down here. I'm going to hop up here and I'm going to show you the jeans. Well, I guess you can't see the jeans. I wanted to show you the whole thing with the booties included. Um, these are a nice pair of booties as well. They're very comfortable. They look almost navy, like I said, when I look at them. Here they look navy, but they've got kind of a grayish tinge to them too. So they're actually really pretty. I do like them. They're comfortable as well. Both pair were very comfortable. Okay. And then I've got the jeans on by Wit and Wisdom, which they are skinny. And they are in a navy. I'll show those to you in a minute as well. But So this is what the Cardi looks like. And let me go ahead and take that off. Um, I, I do like this. It's, it's a nice cardigan. It's, it's thin. It's not a thick one. It's thin. And um, I'm not so sure how warm a thin one will, will keep me, though, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, this is, this is a nice one. This might be a contender. So you guys give me your thoughts and let me know what you think about the, this cardigan. Okay, let me take this off. Okay, then we got the treasure and bond top which is clearly too snug. I definitely am going to have to need a size up if I decide to keep it. Um, it's a nice top, but it's black once again. I like the fabric. It is very nice and soft, and I really do like the fabric on it. I like the lines in the fabric. Um, however, I did find it has a hole in it, and so that's not cool. There's a hole right there. Um, that when I put it, oh, what is that on there? And I went like that. Oh my gosh, it's a hole. So yeah, this has already got a hole in it. So I don't know how durable this would be, um, to be honest. Um, it fits. Seems like it fits everywhere except for like right in here. And it's a little bit shorter than what I like. Once again, but if I was to get this top, it would have to be. I definitely think I would get it in maybe a different color if it was available, and maybe one maybe a size or two even two sizes up um not so much for up in here but just for down in this area just kind of i don't know if it's one of those fabrics that just cling to you but it is it's snug it is a snug top okay and now you can see the jeans a little bit better these are the wit and wisdom i like wit and wisdom i have one pair of them that i just absolutely love they're very comfortable and I want comfort in my jeans. I want them to look nice, but I also want comfort. Um, and these have a nice stretch to them. And they have a nice shape. So yeah, I really, I do like these. So you guys give me more thoughts and opinions on this one. Um, but definitely not going to keep this one with the hole in it. Um, and really don't need the black shirt. So um, I'll be right back with the next outfit. Okay, and now I have on um, We the Free by Free People Catalina V-neck Thermal Top in large by Free People in gray, and it is $68. When I first pulled this out of the trunk, I thought, oh my gosh, it looks like rags. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of rag did they send me? But then I put it on, and oh my gosh, this thing is super, super soft, and I actually really kind of like it. Um, it's got the two different fabrics. It's got the waffle knit type up here. And then down here, it's more just the ribbed, as you can see. And then it's got the, the ribbed here. And then it goes into the waffle knit back here. So it's like kind of mixed match with the fabric. Um, there's a waffle knit here. And then here it goes, turns into the ribbed. Um, and I think even though it's really thin, I feel like this would keep me warm for some reason. I don't know why, but I just feel like it would keep me warm. Um, and it is somewhat see-through, not horrible, but it is somewhat see-through. 
I like the big V neck on it. Um, this kind of reminds me a little bit of a dolman a little bit, but not too bad to where I don't think, I think I could get by with it because it's not super, super big and it's not super thick material. Um, I've had problems with dolman sweaters and cardigans in the past. And this, I think I might be able to just, I might be able to get by with this one. Um, it is a scooped, almost like a t uh, baseball shirt hem, and it's a high-low, a little bit longer in the back. And it does have that, um, that open seamed, I don't know, detail, almost like somebody took pinking shears to it, you know? Um, I, I, I even like that, too. Um, fits good. It is super comfortable. Oh my gosh. This guy is super comfortable. I still have the same jeans and booties on that I had on just a minute ago. So yeah, it's just really super comfy. Um, I think I like that it's flowy, but not too flowy. It doesn't cling to me. Um, even though it's a thinner, softer fabric. Um, I really like this, but I don't like the price. $68 is kind of expensive for a top um, like this. Um, I did see some at Walmart that had the waffle in it that were just as soft as this. And they didn't have like the the fancy, you know, these open on or anything. It was just like a basic v-neck type top um, with the waffle in it. And it was about the same fabric. I mean, it was pretty soft for like 10 bucks. So... Really, for what it is, I can't see spending $68 for this. Um, I haven't tried the one at Walmart on, and I may do so before I send this one back um, to see if there is much of a difference. Um, and they had, like, a bunch of different colors. You know, they had wine and, I think, uh, green and um, white and gray. So they have a bunch of different colors in, in that, too. Um, so I'm not sure if it would be a top that I would like, but I think it's comparable to what this one is. It may not have everything that this one has, but that's okay with me, as long as it's comfortable and it kind of fits good. So um, that I'm going to be checking into because if I can save $58 on a shirt, you know, but I really will not probably spend $68 on, I mean, I know myself, I'm too cheap to spend $68 on a top. And it's just, you know, like a thermal top. <laughs> it's not even like a dressy top. Um, and this is something, you know, that I would wear daily, every day. I will not pay spend that much for that. So, um, even though I love it, um, I'm going to check in to see if I can find it maybe elsewhere. I'm going to compare some chop online. I always do that with all my boxes too. I always go online and check and see if there is a uh, deal somewhere else on it, on the items. And I write them down or I copy the link and so forth. And some, some of the boxes and subscriptions will do the price matching. Some won't, some will. So um, the ones that I know that will, I always check, or I know what websites that they will. I'll, uh, I go on and check and see what the prices are on there. And if it's cheaper, then I price match. So, um, and that helps too. So anyway, uh, let me go and get the next one on. Okay, guys, uh, let me see. This is by Gibson. It is a cozy twist front pullover in large in the color pink, and it's $49. Um, I thought this was more like a fuchsia pink, and it's not. It is more like, I don't know what you would call it, almost a plummy pink. Um, and they have sent me one of these tops before. Remember the coral sugar or the sugar coral, and I really loved it. I did end up sending that back, and that is the shirt that I requested, but since it was on sale, they would not send it to me, so I may just um, order that on Nordstrom's.com, because um, it was on sale, I think, for $32, and uh, and it was originally $49, and I thought, well, maybe the sleeves on this was a little bit longer, but the sleeves are, I checked my other video, my video with me on that, with that shirt on, the Coral Sugar, and the sleeve length was the same, so... Um, I really do like this style. I like this top. It is very soft and it's warm, but I just do not like this color. Like I said, when I clicked, you know, kept it on my uh, trunk preview, it looked a lot more, I don't know, just looked brighter, like more of a brighter pink. And this is not, it's more of a muted. And I'm just finding that I don't think I do too well with muted shades. I look better with very bold, bright, 
um, colors or um, very deep shades. The in-between shades and muted shades, I just don't think it does a whole lot for me. Um, this isn't like the most horrible shade ever, but it's just not something I really care for. So um, let me know what you guys think of this color on me. It's all right. It's just not my favorite. It's just not my fave. I don't know. And there's something about the color I don't care for. And I don't know what it is. <laughs> all right. So that's this one. I've got one more top and then we're done. So I'll be right back. All right, this one is the Fuzzy Bee Neck Sweater in Large by Halogen, and they were supposed to send it to me in silver, and I got it in pink instead, and it is $59. And for a nice sweater like this, I don't think $59 is much, too much, really. And I'll tell you what, this sucker is so, so soft. I kid you not, it feels like Angora, and I checked the fabric, and it just says 100% nylon. So it just feels so much like Angora though. Um, I see that it is kind of see-through-ish, uh, probably because it's a lighter color. Uh, I think they only had two colors, this color and then the silver. And I really wanted the silver, but they sent this, co this color instead. Um, light pink, it's, I like it. Um, I think it's a color I can, it's a lighter shade that I can uh, kind of bit back get by with and it's not so muted um it's more of a true pink and then I think that I can handle um the only thing there's a couple things that I don't care about for the sweater the length it's just kind of short um I really would prefer if it had been longer um I would have just died I would have probably got it if it had been just a little bit longer and another thing I'm not quite so sure about is these puffy arms what is it with puffy sleeves? It, I mean, I know that's the end thing, but I'm not sure it's something I like. So could you guys really let me know what this puffy arm sleeve thing looks like um, on me? Does it look okay? Um, now this one, I think I it's not as bad. Um, but when it comes down to here and here, that kind of, that's a little bit different. But just at the end, I'm not sure. I mean, if my wrist... If they add weight to my wrist, it's no big deal. You know, I have, I have a little, pretty little wrists anyway. So, <laughs> just kidding. Um, so anyway, this is, I just, I do like this. I love it because it's so soft and comfortable and I know it would be so warm. I just don't care for the length and I'm just not sure about the, the sleeves. And I would spend the $59 on this one. I really would because it is just that soft. And I'm not sure if I... And I don't like the fact that I can see black through it. So I probably have to wear something underneath. I might even be able to get by wearing a longer tank underneath that let it peek out. I'm not sure if it would look good with a sweater like this or not. Possibly. Or even a button down maybe. Possibly. I do have room inside really to wear another shirt underneath. And it looks like I might have to anyway because it's pretty showy. Especially if I don't want um, you know, that showing. Uh, so, yeah, that might be a definite thing I might have to do. So, um, thoughts and opinions. Uh, let's do final thoughts real quick. I'm trying to make these quicker and shorter for you guys. And it's been 43 minutes already. So, um, I'm not going to go over pricing and any of that any, again. Um, so, as far as my final thoughts on this, this box, uh, this chunk, um, I think she did really well. I think... Emily did, or is it Emily? Yeah, I think Emily did really well um, at hitting some of my, more of my style, I think. Um, nothing was like extremely too dressy. Uh, it was more of a casual dressy, <clears throat> more of a laid back style. And that's, that's my, that's more my style. Um, I like, um, you know, I like casual clothes, but I do like the type of casual clothes that I can dress up if I want to, or I can dress it down if I need to. Um, that's basically what I wear, you know, and I don't need um, office attire because I don't work in the office um, and I don't need to wear business casual to work at all. So it's just jeans and t-shirts and long sleeve and sweaters and stuff like that. Just stuff that I would wear, you know, here at home is basically what I can get by with wearing at work as long as it's not distressed and it's not ripped up and stained and all that kind of stuff, you know, so um she did a really great job i think as of nailing my style i really did like it and she's even i'm even considering maybe the booties too 
And before I was just like, totally no way. I would not spend that much on booties. But after getting a pair of them at Target and wearing them one time and have I had the back of my, um, back of my ankle and back of my feet, you know, where the foot goes up to the ankle, right in that area, that bone right there. Oh my gosh. I got, I got like scraped up really bad with blisters and sores. And I just wore them for like maybe a, two hours out in public and I was like oh my gosh I might have to really take those back because I cannot that's just horrible so it might be worth my feet's health to invest in a better pair of booties before I was like totally against you know spending that type of money but I may just be a convert um after trying them on and having that issue so these might wear around the house a little bit and see if they do the same or if they're gonna rub that type of thing um, but I really did like the booties. So, um, contenders are either pair of the booties I liked. You know, I really did. Um, the, both jeans I really liked. They both fit well. She got me fit pretty good, too. I think there was just only one top that was really way too tight that I really didn't care for. And that was the halogen, the one with the little hole in it. Um, no, it wasn't halogen. It was Treasure and Bond. That Treasure and Bond black one, um, that one was just a little bit snug. And um, so I did like both the Cozy Twist pullover. I love the style. I just didn't care for the color. And I could have chosen a different color, but the, that pink just looked like a different pink online. So that's not her fault. That's not my fault. Um, so that's not an issue with me. Um, I even kind of like that Knit Peasant Tee in white. And I really don't care for a lot of white tops. And I kind of like that. I really did. It's different. It was flowy. Um, the arms is the only thing I'm kind of in question about. Um, even though it was very thin and see-through, I wouldn't. I would wear a top underneath it to wear that. It. I just really kind of like that. It was really kind of different. Um, and the price isn't too bad. Forty nine dollars, and it's it's a different type of top. Um, I do like this sweater. The sweater is very nice. I wish I had gotten it in the silver, but I think the pink's nice too. Um, I don't know. Maybe if I could exchange it in the silver, I might. Maybe I would keep the pink. I don't know. It would look also really look nice. I think I could. I'm not sure with the puffy sleeves, but I don't know how a cardigan would react with it. Um, but probably a vest would look cool with it. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm not much of a vest person. Um, what else did I like here? Um, the long sleeve crew neck tee, it was okay. Um, it was a nice top. It really was, but it was $29. And to be honest, I think I could find, you know, to be honest, I see those type of shirts at Walmart for seven, eight bucks. So, um, I really don't think I would invest $29 on just a long sleeve crew neck top, you know, to be honest. Um, the stripe midi open cardigan, I liked it. I liked the, I liked the stripe, the, you know, the Oh, you know what I'm saying? The fabric to where it's like the striped fabric. I like that. Um, I like the stripes on it. I really did. I like the length of it. The fit was good. It was a little thin, thinner than what I'm looking for right now, but um, it might be a good inside cardigan, really, just inside the house. Um, and I did like the longer length on it, too. The colors, the, just... The only color I really just didn't care for was the mauve in it. I like the color on the other one that I had seen online better. So, um, and the other one was a lot, was cheaper, it was on sale. So, that might be something I might be looking into too. And if I do, I'll do a Nordstrom haul with, for you guys. Uh, let's see else. The thermal, the We the Free by Free People Catalina V-neck thermal top. Love that. Absolutely love that top. But they're again at $68 and I'm not going to spend $68 on a top. Um, that one, I'm going to have to, I'm going to check the one at Walmart and I'm going to, I'm going to price check these too. So the only thing really, I think that was bad priced. Um, I think the, the boots are pretty high priced, of course. And I think that the, we, the free, the free people top was pretty expensive. Um, the jeans, uh, one pair was 75 made wells, but for made wells, that's pretty good price, I think. Um, and the Wit and Wisdom were 64, which is not too bad. And I think everything else was good price, really. I think they're not, they were not horrible prices. So I think, um, kudos to you, Emily, for getting closer to my style. Thank you so much. And for keeping prices reasonable for me, because I do appreciate that. And I do live on a budget. And, uh, 
for sending some things that I may not have wanted to, I would not have ever probably picked off of the rack. I thank you so much for that. And I thank you all for watching and tuning in and I appreciate all your support. So if you are new here and never been to my, my channel before and you liked what you saw, before you leave, you move mine, consider please subscribing and click that subscribe button and then click the notification bell so you'll be notified of any of my upcoming videos. And don't forget, you guys, that November is National Diabetes Awareness Month. So check around your town, see what's going on, and get to those functions and support support this um, cause because um, diabetes is growing in numbers every single day. It's becoming horrible in, in the United States, um, the amount of people that are being... Um, diagnosed with diabetes every day. So it is a problem. It is, there's no cure for this disease. And I'm not a spokesperson by any means. I'm just a person that has the disease, um, has the diabetes. And I would just like to be able to help in some small way. So um, check out my diabetes video series and I will see you next time. Thank you guys. Love you. Take care.